All right, let's get into biological differences. Um, let's start with men. Let's just walk through differences uh, that men exhibit more of than women. Uh, the very first thing is obvious. Um, it's testosterone. You know, men have testosterone flowing through our, our veins at a much, much, much higher level than women do. Um, and you said a term a minute ago, Candace, when you're walking through your anecdote, I think you said like determination or something like that. Just and really it, to dig deep. Yeah. yeah. Well, no, no, you said uh, like there was just like this determination and because the dig deep, but we will get to mm -hmm. in a second. But you were like, there's this determination and that that's coming from hormones. You know, when a, when a guy walks in a weight room, typically, and then we'll talk about this in a second, but when a guy walks in a weight room, typically, where, where do his eyes go usually because of the testosterone? It goes to the iron, mm -hmm. right? Where it's like, I want to challenge myself. I want to feel this. I want this to be really hard because I'm going to get this really good high after I do this heavy triple. So when you're training in the garage with Charlie, like you could probably just like see his testosterone on the floor and his sweat, right? Like yeah. you just smell it. Uh, maybe not, but, um, no, that's, Seeps out of his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> that's him, right? It's like the guy has so much testosterone and, uh, he's just like looking for an opportunity to express all that, that testosterone that he has inside of him. So that's, that's number one is, uh, guys just have more testosterone. Any thoughts on that? No, I mean, it any, just, any disagreements? Do guys not have more testosterone? I'm, I, I mean, there's probably some, <laughs> <laughs> some fringe cases, but no, I, I mean the competition and aggression that comes from higher T, like the again personality traits uh how that plays out is important the ability just to have more muscle mass and hold create and hold more muscle mass because of that is important as well yeah like the physical motivation the motivation to do something physical mm -hmm. that comes with testosterone um so that's that's a huge difference biologically uh men and women when we start thinking about um expression in the gym or lifting weights uh second piece is uh males hold more muscle mass naturally and this is you know, obviously connected directly to testosterone, but males hold, uh, was the stat that you pulled out? Yeah. 50% more muscle mass. So we kind of did, we, yeah. we did the math a little bit to get us like, is this true? And then we were like, well, shot in the dark. What does an average woman hold? Probably around 50 pounds of muscle mass. Um, a man just has to hold 75, you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, the, the muscle mass differences are, are a very big, it's a big physical biological difference. And you kind of walk through that as well with like your, your um your example of uh you know sparring with a dude um and then there's some like fiber composition stuff as well that's that's different but yeah males have more muscle and then when we start to look at what types of muscle um males have more of the uh slow slow and fast twitch muscle but so we would say like men are men are more powerful usually right like if we we're to pull a box up here and we're to stack this box up and we're like, hey, Jacob, we want you to jump on this box. And then we're like, hey, Candace, we want you to jump on this box. Like Jacob's probably going to be able to beat you in that because he just has those. Yeah. those. He's a good jumper. Those, uh, that he's twitchy, right? Yeah. Um, so when we look at muscle composition, that's a, that's a really big thing that you need to look at. Um, but when we look at the just because a male has more muscle mass on them doesn't mean that they're able to express any more strength per unit of muscle mass than a woman's if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, so the composition's different, but it doesn't mean that it's better muscle. Um, so you'll see, and that's why you see a lot of women that, um, I, by gosh, I can think of a lot of women that can like back squat more than me, where I'm just like, oh my gosh, how did you just back squat 500 pounds? So it's like, we probably have similar uh, amounts of muscle mass on our bodies. Um, but if I were to be able to express strength more just because of the type of my muscle mass, she probably wouldn't be able to um, out squat me, for example. So the, uh, the capabilities per unit is something we have to think of as well. But her bench press probably isn't as strong as your bench press. No, it's, uh, it's not. 